Welcome to my unboxing of a legitimately very high-end product with the Jonathan Fatality Wendell branding. So we've seen our fair share of Fatality products that, yeah, the positioning is like, yeah, they're pretty good, but they're a little bit expensive for what they deliver, or they don't do anything particularly differently from their competitors, such as, you know, remember the old Zalman Fatality heat sinks where the Fatality one had a red LED instead of a blue LED, and it cost significantly more. Well, this Fatality product is a legitimately awesome product of its own right, and it just happens to have the Jonathan Fatality branding, which, I mean, doesn't actually look that bad, because this is like a cool logo, and red, as long as it goes with your color scheme, is pretty good. It wouldn't fit with my system, because I'm going for a blue and black color scheme, but if you have a red color scheme or no color scheme at all, then this should work pretty well. Say, for example, if you have a Republic of Gamers motherboard. Actually, before we open it up, let's get into what exactly is going on with this product. So one is it is a 1000 watt power supply. It is modular, although not fully modular, so I'll show you what that means once we open it up. It has a five-year OCZ power swap warranty, which basically means it has a five-year warranty. It's 80 plus gold, and according to, uh, oh, here, here's an aside. So if you guys want to know the absolute goods as far as power supply performance goes, maybe not subjectivity, maybe not, you know, the look or whatever else, but that's less important when it comes to power supplies, check out johnnyguru.com. They do the best power supply reviews by far, according to them. The performance of this unit is outstanding, and it does meet the 80 plus gold certification. So a lot of the times, in fact, huh, a funny story, um, I don't, I'm not going to name any names, but one company submitted a power supply, I believe this was back when 80 plus silver was like the sexy certification, and they submitted it to the 80 plus organization with shorter cables than the actual retail unit had. And that little bit of extra, a little bit of extra resistance in the longer cables was enough to knock it out of 80 plus silver, but they got the certification even though the unit they delivered to market wasn't actually 80 plus silver. So this one is actually 80 plus gold. What else we got here? Continuous output rated at a demanding 50C ambient temperature, built with 100% Japanese low ESR on 105 degrees centigrade capacitors, single 12 volt rail, which means that you can easily plug things in wherever, which way you want, without worrying about any over, uh, overcurrent protections, compliant with the latest ATX standard, large temperature controlled load, temperature and load controlled 140 millimeter double well bearing fan with a red LED, 80 plus gold, Okay, active power factor correction. It better have it if it's a high-end power supply these days. Heavy-duty protection circuitry. Okay. Here I've got that. Uh, okay, five-year power factor. Extremely cool and quiet. Yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. I'm actually really excited about this product because it is the first to market with individually sleeved cables out of the box. So yeah, it's a little over 200 bucks. So it's not cheap. This is not a cheap power supply, but it is a 1,000 watt power supply. It is 80 plus gold. It is modular and it has individually sleeved cables. Now, individually sleeved cables, whether you believe that is a selling point or a disadvantage is up to you. Personally, I believe it's a selling point. I think it looks slick. I think that as far as a value proposition goes, when you compare this power supply to one that doesn't have individually sleeved cables, but maybe has a kit available, like with Corsair, or if you use those, uh, here, let me see if I can find one. I should have, oops, sorry. Uh, I should have one lying around. With it, ah, yes, there we go. Or if you buy these extension cables in order to, um, you know, hide the not individually sleeved part of your cable and then, you know, wrap this around where you actually see it, that is going to add up pretty quickly in terms of the cost of your power supply. So you would be better off to buy the one that already comes with it and presents a good value by doing so. Now, the disadvantage of individually sleeved cables is they do make the cables quite a bit bulkier. So these are, here, here we go. So this is what individually sleeve cables look. They're actually using a very reasonable quality sleeving on here. I'd say the heat shrink might be a touch on the long side, but it's not the end of the world. Here's what, but here's what they look like. So you have to decide whether that aesthetic is for you. Sorry, when that's plugged in, then it actually won't move at all. And uh, you can, you can, you'll have to, you'll want to cut these off and then get things arranged really nice, get them running really flat behind your motherboard. So they do make them bulkier, but I believe where you see them, they actually look a lot sharper, especially in places like graphics cards, where you can run the individually sleeve cables, you know, they plug into your graphics card like this, and then you have them, you know, wrapped out like that. It's better than seeing any color. You don't want to see any color to the cables, and these, uh, these definitely prevent that from happening. Another cool thing about the individually sleeve cables is if you're running one that takes an 8 and a 6 pin, you go ahead, you uh, just clip this off, take these two, run them somewhere else entirely, and you don't have to have that extra two cables 
are that extra two pins just kind of randomly hanging off of your uh, video card. Comes with a beefy power cable. Comes with a few black zip ties as well as uh, four black screws for installing your power supply. I did not mention the instruction manual, but there you go. It also comes in a little Fatality Wendell plastic and, you know, paper bag. Um, and comes with modular cables. So right, this is a semi-modular power supply, not fully modular, which means that it has some cables pre-attached and some that come in a baggie and look like this. So let's go through the pre-attached ones first. The pre-attached ones are your 24 pin cable, which looks like this. Next, you've got a four plus four, so that is an eight pin connector for your motherboard. Next, you have two PCIe six plus two pins. So you have everything you need. If basically, if you are buying a 1000 watt power supply and you are not using at least these four cables, you're probably doing it wrong. So I have no problem with them attaching these cables, although you see some semi-modular power supplies, as I like to call them, that have like a bunch of weird stuff attached. Like I have one semi-modular power supply that has two eight pins and a four pin CPU connector all permanently attached to the power supply. It's ridiculous. I mean, what, what kind of system are you installing an 850 watt power supply in that needs three CPU connectors because you're using a server motherboard? So stuff, stuff like that, I would like to see it be fully modular rather than pre-attached to the power supply. Now let's have a look at what we have in terms of modular cables. So let's find all of our SATA. Got that one there. We got, uh, hold on, we got some Molex. We got some PCIe. Got some more PCIe. We got another 8-pin CPU. And then we have a couple of Molex to floppy uh, adapter doodads. Oh, even those look sharp. Look at that. It's fantastic. I love it. Not everyone does, but I do. So let's have a look at our SATA cable. These, again, individually sleeved. They look fantastic. So they got four connectors on each of our three cables. Let's just make sure they both, they all have four. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. You can see how sharp these look. Very nicely terminated in there. You can see they've actually put the heat shrink on, um, from what I can tell, purely for decoration, because these SATA connectors uh, bite right into the wire. So they probably just are running a single continuous piece of sleeve all the way down the uh, the individual wire here, and then just uh, just putting these on for looks, because you can see the sleeving actually runs right uh, right through which makes them very, very, very sharp looking, and that is the reason why someone might want to buy an individually sleeved power supply. So the next one we've got here is our 8-pin uh, CPU connector. So we've got another one of these. So this guy will plug in right about here. Okay, that matches the other one. So if you did happen to have a power supply that needs a couple of 8-pin connectors, you would be covered, and the power supply does have enough uh, excuse me. Oh, those are kind of tight. There we go. Does have enough modular connectors for up to, okay, remember we got two 6 plus 2 PCIe, four more 6 plus 2 PCIe for up to three-way um, three way SLI or crossfire. Then we have another one for the four-pin CPU as well as the pre-attached one, so, or eight-pin CPU, so pre-attached one. We can have up to two of those and then up to five peripheral connectors. So that is uh, the SATA ones as well as the uh, Molex ones. So Molex-wise, we have two of those, each with four four-pin peripheral connectors. Once again, these are terminated very, very cleanly. You can see they're actually using black wires as well, so that's why you can't see any color whatsoever through the cables. And finally, let's have a look at the PCI Express cables that are included. So, length on these looks pretty good. You can see that they've they've put these little uh, these little zip ties on all of them just to help you. I guess to help you route them the first time around. Personally, I just take them all off and then just do as clean a job as I can of uh, of routing the cables. They look really really sharp when you get them sort of tucked away just right, um, so that you get a nice bundle coming out of whatever component that they have to happen to be plugged into. It looks really, really, really nice. So we've got four of those as well. So you can plug in all of the modular cables that come with the power supply, but you don't have to because it's modular. So let's have a look at the aesthetic of the unit. So there you got your silhouette of uh, Jonathan Wendell. I think that picture was taken like eight years ago, but he still looks pretty similar. I ran into him at CES last year. 1000 watt power supply, OCZ technology, all pretty standard fare. Got a little Fatality logo going on here, as well as a 140 millimeter red LED lit fan. You can see, huh, nice touch actually. Hey, check that out. Even the PCB inside is red. Can you see that? Down at the bottom? 
red PCB down at the bottom. Oh, let's get, yeah, there you go. Okay, there we go. Uh, you can see correctly oriented. They also have the uh, Fatality logo over here. So you can see if I turn around this way, it's upside down. That means that whether your case mounts the power supply on the top or the bottom, your logo will be correct side up. Very nice. Uh, finally, we got yet another sort of Fatality looking logo here. There's the close up of the modular interface. And then at the back, we're gonna find things look pretty standard with a honeycomb grill, as well as a nice big on and off switch and our power in. Overall spec of the unit, you can see it can deliver up to 996 watts of its total 1,000 watts of continuous power on the 12 volt rail, which means no matter what you load this thing up with, unless you are sucking more than 110 watts from the wall, you're pretty much not going to run into any difficulty. And let me tell you, making a configuration like that wouldn't be easy. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the Fatality 1000 watt 80 plus gold power supply with the individually sleeved cables, which I personally think is a huge selling point, although not everyone might agree, but I think it's awesome. And don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.